What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and it is hot. You can tell I almost got like beach attire on. I just need some flip flops. And I think I'm ready to go to the beach and this awesome Ford Chinook behind me. This is, it's beast mode now because it was just junk before. And if you don't believe me, we're gonna actually get the owner, Jim. I'm gonna pull him into the video and say, Jim, tell us what you hated about this thing. Tell us why you are here because I know that there are a lot of Ford Chinook owners that are in the same boat um, and having issues with their suspension and we are here to help making it better. This had the Moride set up in the back of it and it was just completely just busted out and just hammered and instead of replacing that it's like get rid of it put in suspension that's actually going to work and actually get you a lot of ground clearance and we might as well since we're talking about the more ride setup let's just start off in the back of this and look at how much more space this has now of course it still does have the stock tires because there's plenty of tread on there and there's no reason to get rid of these yet but it's going to go to a bigger tire and he's going to be able to put a 235 85 16 on the back of this it's going to have a ton of room so now it does have an all new progressive leaf spring in the rear of it and it's not going to have any of the more right setup we've actually put a shackle and shackle hanger perch in there as well so that that way it's all the way it's just it's just so much better guys and i know you're just gonna have to believe me, talk to these guys on the forums um, because it does ride that much better. So that's how we got all the lift out of the rear suspension. The last thing we did on the back of this is we did add a set of Fox shocks to control the ride, which is going to just be amazing. And the big thing is, is now when you come to the back of this, you'll see that this isn't gonna drag anymore as well. Even with the rear bumper on there and the hitch, this was a big thing is as I come around to the back of this, you're going to see back here where the hitch is actually ground down so much. It's actually half the thickness of it because the rear of this has been dragging, going into drive waves and everywhere else. And of course you don't want that because we don't want additional damage underneath it. The whole point of one of these Chinooks is to get out there, have fun, enjoy it, go camping, and enjoy this beautiful country that we live in. So enough about the back of it. Let's jump to the front and talk about what we did up in the front of this Ford Chinook. Yeah, there it is, guys. So here we are, we're jumping up in the front of this and there is a ton going on as well as some new components in the front of it. I'll get to the new components in just a minute. So this is gonna have our six inch kit on the front of it. It's going to include the bigger coil springs in there that also have a higher spring rate, which is going to reduce the amount of sway that your Chinook is going to have that's definitely going to be a plus. The next thing we've done is we've added our Fox shocks to control the ride. Now, if we look at this wheel well, you can see that there, even with the small tire under there, there is a ton of room in there. And what we've done is with these longer radius arms, nine inches longer than the stock ones and new brackets, we've cheated this forward just a little bit enough to give you more clearance. It's always easy to trim a bumper, but we don't want you to have to get into trimming the fiberglass as well on this when you go to that bigger tire. The next thing that we did in this is we did add our Fox steering stabilizer kit as well to the front, and that's going to be a plus. Now keep this in mind as well, guys. Even if you don't have our lift kit on your Chinook, maybe it's something that you wanna do later on, you can still add our Fox steering stabilizer or even a King or even a Bilstein for that matter, steering stabilizer kit to the front of this to really help tighten up that steering because you know you do find that a lot of the parts in there are completely worn out. Now the next big thing I wanna show you on this is going to be the sway bar upgrade that we did. Let's jump under there. We're gonna dive underneath this. Even though the asphalt's hot, I wanna make sure I point this all out to you and show you. Let's jump under this thing. So what we've done is we've upgraded the sway bar on this to a 2008 and newer model. Now in doing that, we've had to put the newer beams on there as well. So this is something to consider if you are thinking about doing this lift kit. So the big difference on this is you'll notice that this has individual links that go from the I-beam 
to the sway bar on the on these chinooks from the original from the factory it's instead it's going to have a pin and that goes into the beam which is never a good thing because these i beams travel in an arc and your sway bar is straight it's just a bad setup it was you know ford kind of missed it this is a really nice upgrade you can also see we've done the drop brackets on here as well to compensate for the amount of lift that we've put in it so this is a definitely a good upgrade that's worth it. And, you know, with doing this, you're not going to have to run one of those other uh, sway bars that are going to probably cost you two to three times as much as this little upgrade right here. You can see I got the Fox steering stabilizer in there. These awesome beams, man, there's just so many killer weld tech parts as I hang out underneath this thing. But enough jibber jabber and let's go find the owner and talk to him. Let's go. Come on. All right, guys. So this is the man right here. This is Jim. This is his Chinook, and I guess first of all, we have to say thanks, Jim, because 20 years in the U.S. Navy, he was just telling me, so that's pretty awesome. want to thank all of you military people out there for, you know, giving us the freedom that we have and enjoy today. So, that's awesome. All right, so, Jim, you got a Chinook. How long have you had this? I, I, uh, about 11 years. Okay. So, and, you've had uh, it for a little while then? Yeah, absolutely. And me and my dog and the cat, we've traveled over 50,000 miles, seeing America from coast to coast. We've been to biker rallies in Sturgis, Key West, the real Mardi Gras. We've been almost everywhere. So you definitely like hitting the road in uh, this, but the big problem that you told me was that this had the more ride on there. It definitely uh, was not that great as, at all so i know when we got in there it was completely damaged broken absolutely and it it rode like a tank yes every little bump boom boom we saw by the hitch it was just dragging oh, everywhere oh so then how did you find out about us what led you to where we're at well now? i try to support the local economy up there in uh the white mountains I talked to mechanics, this and that, and I showed them this and that, and they didn't really want to deal with it. And I just happened to see your video, and... Sucker! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. It was well worth coming down here. Yeah. About a thousand miles round trip, but it's well worth it. So I know this was a pretty quick video. We kind of covered everything pretty rapidly as far as the suspension upgrades in this. If you guys have any questions about doing your Chinook, um, what's involved in getting rid of the components like the Moride setup that's in there, drop the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, you know, there's other videos as well. I can even throw up a card if you want to see another video on a Chinook to see exactly what we did on that. Otherwise, on that note, I know that you've already given this video a big thumbs up. And if you found any kind of information that you just love and you want to come back for more, we put more van videos out every week. Come back, check us out, hit that subscribe button. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. That's wait, Jim. Wait, wait, oh wait, we got wait. one more thing. I just have to say, Jeremy is the man. Nah. He's, he's a rock star. Shh, don't tell him. Don't, he, I don't want oh, people to he, think I know he, anything. He, uh, well, he used to be. Yeah. And, but, and I'd like to thank the crew. And it's no, been we a appreciate one, one, that. And also, I know people will ask me when I go back home, how did, where did you go to get this? And yeah, I, I'll, so be then glad, now we gotta I'll be glad send to tell them. them. Well, then, since he's Absolutely. on this, you got to close this out and say, I'm Jim from Wild Tech Designs, and I'll see you in the next video and close it out. Okay. Go I for will. it. I'm Jim from Well Tech Design, and I'm saying adios.